Imperial Firebase from out of nowhere. Come and check out this awesome retro Warhammer 40,000 building, unboxing and showcase. This video is brought to you by Triple Helix Wargames. For big discounts on Games Workshop products and more, check out triplehelixwargames.co.uk. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Bill Morlock here, showcasing a little eBay purchase that I got recently, a classic Warhammer 40,000 Imperial Firebase. I used to have one of these as a kid, I uh, lost it many, many years ago and I picked this up, I couldn't resist it for what I consider to be the bargain price of £25, sterling. Look at the box art, it's a wonderful piece and it just brings back that classic uh, layout and text and font that is the uh, childhood memories of when I got into the game, aged but a wee 10 years old young whippersnapper. So let's go straight inside and see what we've got in this little gem. So first of all, the first thing you see is some of it was already built, just that little piece there. But it's all that awesome card folding stock that's actually surprisingly rigid. Just those little tags there is what helps secure it. Uh, you get this lovely sort of printed rust effect on the artwork. Uh, it's very much before its time, I think, because this was going in from proper cheesy green fields to uh, the modern era. And here we have some of the plastic bulkheads. They are interchangeable. Um, they are solid. They are thick. They thick stand. Uh, you get uh, the bottom teeth ridges lock into the top section there. You can see. Very important to get those the right way around. Otherwise they don't line up quite right. But um, it's trial and error. And also they don't. Again these don't require glue. They can just slide in. It's a very nice tight push fit. And uh, as you can see there. And they can come apart. And you can swap it around as you see fit. There's a few different designs on these. Some of them are solid all the way through and some of them have doors and some of them have like the window with the cross section across the board there. Also you get these awesome hazard stripe chevron pieces which go on the top of the landing pad. Again lovely artwork on there. Uh, it did suffer a little bit from when you fold the card you have that sort of cardboard ridge line that you can see. but that's easily paintable if you so chose. Um, I haven't done that yet but uh, it's something I could do in the future. But I just think it's a lovely piece and again showcasing the, the push fit nature of the card it can collapse down and go back in the box pretty much flat which is probably how, how I will store it um, when I'm not playing with it. Here's some more of the running rail sections and defensive wall sections and uh, buttress pieces. Loads of it. Again another piece of good area terrain, folding stock. These are the sort of lug bits that fit onto the plastic bulkhead as I will demonstrate uh, now. There we go, it's just clicking into place now. It is uh, like I'm 10 years old again. Some say I never got past that age. But look at this, it is absolutely solid. It's not going anywhere, no glue required. Um, far ahead of its time. What else have we got in the box? Uh, the, one of the upper building sections, again pre-cut to allow the uh, defensive ridges to go into the top and some cardboard walkways. Now these aren't that wide. You can pretty much get a 28 mil base in there, but it would struggle with the newer models. And here's the main event, the landing pad itself. Uh, beautiful art on the top uh, with the Roman numerals and Imperial insignia. Supporting strut, which I think is quite nice. And then just remaining in the box are a couple of last little pieces. Now here's a nice little thing. The uh, Imperial Firebase instructions, they come with a uh, chapter approved law primer as to what the use of the Imperial Firebase bases are which is a, a nice little thing I think is missing from modern train sets and there you go it's multilingual uh, manuals very clear instructions how to build it all there's some awesome second edition space marine art there um, that takes me back and here we have the fireplace complete in all its resplendent glory second edition on a plate as you can see here I've added some second edition models from our friend uh, gentleman David and some Eldar jet bikes for my upcoming Eandon army. I think it really suits the second edition aesthetic along with the green green grass and awesome stroke naff trees and I cannot wait to play some awesome retro games which we shall be doing soon I'm hoping. Uh, all praise Henry for bringing us this video. 
the Imperial Firebase, little piece of Warhammer 40,000 nostalgia on a plate.